Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna dig into the figure tool that MATLAB offers, and there's a ton of features in this thing. What I'm talking about is right here. This figure has a bunch of tools as you can see in the top toolbar, and also by clicking around. The first thing you're probably gonna wanna do is save your figure. And you can do that with file, save as, and then I like to save mine as .jpegs, but you can pick the file type that you want. I'll save it as figure one, and then I can go into my file explorer and open up this figure. You can insert this into Word documents and other reports to use it for later. You can also edit this plot in tons of ways. Each one of these, you can zoom in. If you just put your mouse over it, you can zoom in, click and drag to move the plot around. And if you ever get too messed up, top right you can click the restore home view button you also have zoom in and zoom out click the zoom in and then click and drag to zoom into a section of the video excuse me of the plot and then you can click the zoom out button and then click on your screen to zoom out the hand is used for panning and will just move things around translationally and you can also click the data tips button hover over your data points and get the X and Y coordinates of that data. And of course you can do this on all your different plots. As such. You can also adjust the layout of these individual plots. To do that, click this little it's a cursor icon and it's labeled edit plot from here you can see in the bottom right now we have some squares that popped up in the sides and we can now resize these plots however we want you can also translate the entire plot around if you select the border not the squares but the border and then click and drag and you can now move this plot all over the place And if you want to simply get rid of a plot hit the delete button and it's gone then you can resize the others to fill in the space. There's a lot more tools, guys. You can edit your X labels and your Y labels up here. And you can do a ton of stuff from this plotting tool. I encourage you to look around, try different things. You can insert different lines in your plots. You can put arrows in here to point to specific things. You can probably add text, a text box in here too, see? And this is a way that you can totally customize it without using actual code. Now, this is an awesome way to customize your plots without having to use a bunch more code. Honestly, I'll take these three lines, these nine lines to make a good plot, but then to do anything more advanced, it's honestly super easy just to come in here and insert different things that you want to highlight whatever it is that you need on your plots. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, if you can think of something to do, you can likely do it in this figure tool. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and like, and I'll see you guys in the next video.